Hey guys, my name is Kieran Glasker and welcome to day 12 of Veg and it's one of these again mainly because I got home a bit too late to film and this is so much easier so uh, yeah. Anyways, day 12 is one I've really been looking forward to so anyway, today's question is what is your favourite animated movie? And holy shit, picking one, it's nigh on impossible. There are so, so many different animated movies out there that I absolutely love. For example, I absolutely love Disney's experimental era, so stuff like Atlantis for Lost Empire and Treasure Planet holds a really special place in my heart. Speaking of Disney, the new Moana trailer, holy crap, that looks incredible! And then you have things like Akira and Ghost in the Shell and Nausicaa Valley of the Wind or pretty much anything by Studio Ghibli. And also The Road to El Dorado, oh my god that is such a good film. Basically thinking of one animated movie to say is absolute torture because I love so many, it is such a good medium for film. Don't get me wrong, it's a medium that is both good and bad, I mean there's definitely some really bad animated movies out there, here's looking at you dingo pictures. Mm, I think I'll adopt it and take it with me. Such a wonderful sign of quality. But overall, I really love animation as a medium, and if there's one animated movie that I keep finding myself watching, it's actually the Beyond segment from The Animatrix. If you haven't heard of The Animatrix, it's basically a series of short animated films, all animated by different animation studios, and they all take place in the universe of The Matrix. They do vary in quality, some of them look incredibly good but aren't great, some of them look good and are brilliant, and then there's Flight of the Osiris, which that was just bad. To me though, Beyond is the most interesting of the Animatrix segments. It's less about bombastic action and ridiculous sci-fi, and it's more about discovery and playing around with a glitch in the system. Our main character is a young woman who loses her cat inside this house which is deemed haunted. And when she goes inside, reality itself starts bending, mainly because the building itself is a glitch within the world of the Matrix. And what follows is honestly one of my favourite short form animations I've ever seen. It's one that is hard to describe why I love it, but just watching it makes me feel quite easy, and it's something I can put on at any time, and it always makes me feel better. Like I said, there's something that I just can't describe about it, but I really like it. If you get chance to, I recommend at least watching that segment of The Animatrix, and there are many others which are great, like The Second Renaissance is really good, but once again, just try to avoid Flight of the Osiris. It's just a bit awkward. I would have to say overall picking a favourite animated movie is incredibly difficult because I love all of the ones I've listed here and I love so many more, but I suppose for this one I'm going to stick with Beyond because I don't really get much chance to talk about things like the Animatrix, so I kind of wanted to take that opportunity. Either way though, I would still love to hear what your favourite animated movie is, so why don't you let me know down in the comments down below, and I'll see you all tomorrow for the next day of Veg where, who knows, maybe I'll film it. Anyways, I'll see you then. Forgive me friends, but before I made this video, there is one movie I completely forgot about, and it is of course for Masterpiece, Food Fight. I mean, check this out. Cinematic perfection.